Pardon me. I say, can I come in? Yeah, is there a problem? Well, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about your child, which happens to be my grandchild. Your family made it clear to me that you think I'm gold digging trash who was lucky enough to come up pregnant with Jason's kid, and, and that's fine by me. You're entitled to your opinion, but Jason and I are going to raise this baby together, and there, there is nothing you can do to stop us. I don't want to fight with you, Sam. In fact, I just want to make peace. I love my son, and I would really like a chance to love his child. Daughter. What? Jason and I, well, we just found out we were having a girl. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Dr. Quarterman, I'm sorry for jumping down your throat. Oh, Be please. Please, you have every right. The quarter veins were awful to you that night at the cellar. And as for myself, I... I still don't know how to talk to Jason. I don't know the right way to reach him. Reach him? Okay, imagine raising your, your daughter for 20 years and waking up one day and finding out she doesn't know who you are. That all the attempts you make to remind her of her past only pushes her away. Imagine realizing that what you've lost is gone forever. And that the love in your child's eyes is never going to be anymore. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. But Jason has made a whole new life for himself. And, and we see each other occasionally. I mean, I really think he, he cares about me, but... He'd never be comfortable thinking of me as his mother. And that's just something I have to accept. I just... I don't think I've ever thought what it would be like for Jason's family. Well, that's why I'm hoping that things could be different with, with a child. I... If you and Jason would let me be a part of this child's life, I'd be very, very grateful. I'll talk to him about it. Thank you. Thank you for having an open mind, because I know the quarter pains have done absolutely nothing to endear themselves to you. Uh, I'm, I'm not judging. Please, my, my father was a con artist for as long as I can remember. What about your mother? Um, <clears throat> I barely knew her. She split when I was a baby. Did you ever look for her? Yeah. And? And she was dead. I want this child to have a better life than I had. Well, she has two loving parents. That's a good start. And I'm sure I'm going to make probably about a thousand mistakes along the way. <laughs> we all do. We try. Sometimes things just happened that we don't intend. But we try our best. Maybe only seeing the mistakes in hindsight. But I guess that's not really an excuse. Well, no one's to blame as long as you're trying your best, right? Right. Which makes me think that maybe living right across the hall from Sonny is not such a good idea. I mean, I know that you were involved with him before. Jason, I know Jason works for him, but the man's dangerous. That's what I got here. I'm sorry, I, th I thought Jason was here by himself. I would have knocked. He's out. Hi, man. Hi, Dr. Quarterman. Sonny. Uh, somebody sent this accidentally to my place. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Over there. This, that's good. That's uh, nice. Tell Jason that I uh, came by. Yep.